don't play no more. So, and I do find what's going on. I downloaded another media player today, and I'll take care of that later. But this is Joanna, y'all. If y'all don't know who Joanna is, y'all need to go ask somebody because everybody knew Joanna back in the day. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Horace case, Horace versus LaSalle. And see, all these little stupid things want you to sign up to be a part of them in order for you to get this. Uh, that ain't happening, ladies and gentlemen. What I did is I did find it. It's got the, oh no, yeah, this thing has the draft in the middle of it. I'm not really worried about the draft thing. See that right there? See, it says draft. I'm not really worried about that because that ain't got nothing to do with me copying and pasting. Ladies and gentlemen, they won this case. And let me tell you, the document was already there. I didn't read it. That's the problem. Wait a minute. Let me make sure it's there. No, I need to. Oh, it's not here. It's in the other one that I just pulled up. And I can find the order from the judge. And that's what's important is the judge. Now, the, ju <laughs> the judge tries to make it look like there wasn't a mistake done. You know, he tries to make it look like, you know, there ain't no problem. You know, other than the fact that there were a couple of minor little mishaps. We did the video earlier showing you guys about this case. And again, that video was entitled, uh oh, can't do this. It's freezing, y'all. It's freezing cold in here, mama. Let's do the escape so that we can get back to where we need to be. I And look, uh, oh, wait, look at this. Somebody actually took the words and put it in here. All right, kudos. Does anybody know what kudos mean? Because it's just a stupid little word. No, I don't need y'all to explain to me what kudos mean. I know what it means. I'm kidding when I say kudos, okay? I was joking because next thing you know, I get a hundred emails of people trying to explain to me what kudos mean. Like I really need to know what kudos mean. Okay. But you know what? I like the fact that they took the text of the document and put it here. Do you see this? I like that. That is, you make me a happy person when you do stuff like this. Now pay attention. The following hearing, following hearing and review of all submissions from the parties, the court has come to two conclusions necessary for disposition of this case. First, the court is surprised to the point of astonishment. Let me make this larger so y'all can see, so y'all can be astonished with the court. That, look, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, when the court says stupid things like this, it's for pompous, it's for show. It's like at the sentencing hearing of, of an individual who's convicted. Okay, it's all words. It don't mean a thing to the point of astonishment. Anyway, look, to the point of astonishment that the defendant, LaSalle Bank National Association, did not comply with its own pooling and servicing agreement. And further, did not comply with New York State law because they were housed in New York State in attempting to attain assignment on plaintiff or note and mortgage. See, note and mortgage, they're separate. They Remember, the attorney kept calling it mortgage note. I told you he knew what he was doing. He did that purposely. Okay, so there you go. That's me pointing out something to you. He knew what he was doing when he turned it that way. The rest of you won't be as slick as doing that because he turned it that way at the point when he brought up certain points on purpose to highlight that point. The note and the mortgage. Remember, the assignment is not on the mortgage. It's on both the note and the mortgage. We've had that said differently. Okay. But the pooling and servicing agreement says exactly how things are supposed to go. Second, the plaintiff horse is a third party beneficiary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did the judge disagree? Did he just agree with me when I said that you all pay attention? You all are part of the trading of the junk on the market. Hold on. This is what you mentioned when you doing your going after these fools, ladies and gentlemen. I told you. I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. I have. I clicked on something I shouldn't have clicked on. So we going to get that out of the way. Mariah Carey. No, Mariah, you ain't doing that to us. We already heard you do. I still believe. Ain't no more believing.
Okay, Brian McKnight, anytime? All right, we can live with any time. I hit print. That's what it was. So we ain't about to print all of this. That's 25 more or more pages. I don't think so. Okay, let's continue so you guys understand what's going on. According to this, it says that you are a beneficiary of a pooling and servicing agreement created by the defendants. Okay, hold on. Don't you guys understand what this judge just said? I've been trying to tell you guys. The mortgage is a separate agreement. You are permitting it to be traded on the market in exchange for the benefits. You are a beneficiary. That's why you are foreclosing on your own self. Okay, now hold on. Indeed, without such pooling and servicing agreement, the plaintiff Horace and other mortgagers similarly situated would never be able to obtain financing. You are a beneficiary because of the way the agreement is structured. Without being a beneficiary, quote unquote, according to the judge, you would not be able to attain financing. That's not true. But the way they have it situated is they would not be able to do what they do as far as trading it on the market without your approval. You are a beneficiary. You are an investor. Sorry. Apologize. I've been trying. I'm, 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 I'm excited because I decided to read into this case a little bit more. Nobody prompted me to read into this case a little bit more. There was a gentleman, he mentioned the case, and I decided to read into it. Okay, I've known about this case before, but I really didn't pay attention to it because it wasn't important to me right now. But now I'm looking at the case, and they're saying everything that I've been telling y'all. Hold on. Consequently, the plaintiff's motion for summary judgment is granted to the extent that the defendant's LaSalle Trust Bank is permanently enjoined from foreclosing on the property, blah, 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 permanently enjoined. They can't do it. They can't foreclose on it. Further, the court is of the opinion that there is no reason to further delay as to entry of official, it's not supposed to be, oh, of final judgment concerning the issue of foreclosure by the trust. The notice shall issue to the parties done this blah 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 so they can't foreclose now i don't know what happened to her after this okay this was pay attention 2011 okay what we are interested in and i want you to pay attention that you are a beneficiary of the servicing and pooling agreement without that no mortgager would be allowed to obtain financing. What did he say? He said, this is every mortgage, this is the situation. Huh? Did he not say that? So pay attention. This is what I'm telling you to bring up. This is what we're bringing up. Okay? You know, it won't let me highlight any of this. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's highlighting it on y'all end. See, now it's highlighting it. But before when I was trying to highlight it, it wouldn't let me highlight it. I don't know what's wrong. See, without pooling and servicing of such agreement, the plaintiff or other mortgagers similarly situated would never be able to obtain financing. Okay? So if you are going to bring forth a suit, this is what you need to be bringing forth. We don't have to see. This is the problem. The courts say, well, you didn't bring this up. You didn't bring that up. Excuse me. We told you you didn't have any jurisdiction in the first place. We didn't have to bring up all of those little small points. We just had to bring up the simple point that we said you had no jurisdiction. And you just told us you had no jurisdiction. The reason why the court issued summary judgment, because the court had no jurisdiction. They brought forth a claim for which they didn't have the right to bring forth the claim. That's what the court is saying. But when the court said this, that's all we needed. It says that you are part of that trading on the market. You are part of the agreement, contract, an agreement and a contract equal. Okay. Now, look at that. It just, oh, this is the other document. Okay. This is the other document that we were reading. So the top portion was the order from the court. Okay, that's the first page. Let's reduce this size. Reduce it, Sonny. Just reduce it. That's this document right here. Okay, that's this document right here. And let's see. Oh, no, we went too far down. Sorry, we went to the draft part. 
We don't need to be at the draft part. I'm in the army. I'm in the army. Wait a minute. You know what? I, I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot hear Brian McKnight. So something ain't right. Where's my music? Y'all know I can't listen without my music. Y'all knew something was wrong. Y'all didn't even tell me. Okay, pay attention. That's how short the order was. Less than a page long. Uh-oh. I don't have my music, y'all. So we got to minimize. 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 Where's my music? Uh-oh. Brian, you got to go. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Because I need my music. So task manager. I could have turned it off through this because this will get me a task manager too. But either way, we're going to get rid of the VLC and then we're going to have to start it up again. I hate the fact that I'm going to have to do that, but I do have to do that. Like I said, there are two ways for me to get to my task manager. I don't see VLC though. Okay, well, I can't get to my task manager that way. I have to go through this because my VLC then froze up on me, y'all. Your VLC? It's like, like a BLT? No, it's just a VLC. It done froze up. What? Why is it freezing? Because it's scared. What's it scared of? It's scared of me trying to prove to these people that every single one of them that has a mortgage, when they sign the mortgage, that's a separate agreement. When you sign that separate agreement, you are agreeing to allow it to be traded on the market. Remember, they're saying that you need to do it in order to receive financing. That's not, that's a lie. You don't need to do it. You do it and you allow them to trade your property on the market. You allow them to trade the note on the market. You allow them to trade the agreement on the market. Guess what? They can't just do it because they want to. They have to do it because you agreed to let it happen, people. So now you have the proof. Go back, look at that case, the video I did. What I want you to do is the same thing I'm about to do. We're not going to have time for me to play my music. I would love to play my music because Drew Hill was playing. See, this is Drew Hill, but you see it ain't doing nothing. So I can't play my music. I apologize to y'all. Anyway, with that being said, and I got to go back and listen to the video to make sure I'm still able to talk because even this is on pause. That just was stu stuck. Look, it says 29. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out what's wrong. I should have restarted the computer in the first place. Yeah, I definitely should have restarted the computer because that was the problem. You see how it just shut off? I should have restarted the computer. And then it says it's got one document. Print, print, print. No, I've already printed that document. Hmm. Or did I? Yeah, I did. I printed that document, so I don't need that. Okay. So with that being said, let's close that. I showed you guys everything I needed to show you about that case with the exception of this document right here. Let me show you what I'm going to tell you all to do. If you got somebody coming after you, this was a lawyer who wrote this for this young lady. The points he brought up were the right points to bring up. Okay. And now he's probably a lawyer expert there in Alabama. Okay. Because he was in Alabama. Okay. So in Alabama, these are the points that he brought up. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to bring up the same point. You don't want to bring up, pay attention. You want to say further, given that the wherever they're located and trust law authorizes a trustee to acquire property in the name of the trust as such name is designated and hold on. Instrument creating said trust property, there should be little, you get rid of all the stuff that refer to something else. In fact, it is clear in the law of the state, wherever they're located, that an attempt to transfer to a trust which fails to specify both a trustee and a beneficiary is ineffective as a conveyance to the trust. Okay? The failure to the name or to name a beneficiary for the trustee renders the assignment without merit. You don't have to do the 21. You just state the fact. You just state the statement without saying New York law, California law, Detroit law, because remember the laws are uniform. So use the same argument without using the same state law if it doesn't apply. But if your trust is a Delaware trust and if it's a registered trust in New York, like so many banks are, if your trust is situated out of New York, how do you find out where the trust is? Because you ask them. 
I need to have a copy of the pooling and servicing agreement. You ask them for who is the trust that's holding my mortgage. That's what you ask them. Okay? And that's why there has to be a proper assignment. That's if you need to bring forth this argument. They brought forth this argument. They were successful. Okay? According to, and then you list wherever they're located, expressly requires that a, for properties to be validly delivered to a trust, the property must pass completely out of the control of the donor and its agent. Every state requires that. So ladies and gentlemen, take what this lawyer did and use the same information. You don't have to quote the law. So many of you are quoting the law. Just quote it by reference. For instance, let's say your bank is registered in Delaware. Then you go for Delaware. You simply go and Delaware law expressly requires the property to be validly delivered to a trust. The property must pass out of the control of the donor or its agent. Okay? And then instead of putting quotation marks, you put the apostrophe, meaning it's a semi-quote. Okay? And you don't put the number 25 or anything, and then you put another semi-quote, and you just reference the wording. Another case addressing the issue holds that in order, and then you go, you don't do all of this stuff here. You go, in order that the delivery, uh, in order that delivery to a third person shall be effective, he must be an agent of the donee. Delivery to an agent of the donor is ineffective as the agent could be terminated before the delivery is intended to the donee. That's all you have to put. You don't have to put what law it comes from. You just have to state it because guess what? It's stated in the servicing and pooling agreement. Why? Because they all use the same stupid servicing and pooling agreements, people. It's an industry. They all use the same documents, the same process. Look at your mortgages. Look at your deed of trust. They all say the same thing. That's why I can tell you it's going to say mortgage insurance under either M, N, and number 10. I can tell you it's going to say that because they use the same documents. So reference this information. Don't be specific with the law, but be specific with the information. The trustee for securitizations often occupy many roles simultaneously and conflicting both as document custodians and trustees for myriads of thousands of securitization as well as for various, let's get rid of that. Uh-oh, got to get rid of that again. Uh-oh, can't get rid of it. There we go. Various parties who are active in the securitization process, including originators, servicers, sponsors, and depositors. According to, accordingly, it is inconceivable that anything other than registration into the name of the trust as such name is designated in the instrument creating said trust property could ever qualify as delivery to a particular securitization trust, i.e. assignment. Absent such registration, there would be nothing that would indicate which of the thousands of trusts in care of the trustee a particular promissory note might belong to or if it were the personal property of the trust itself. I told you, go after the trustee. Why are our courts overwhelmed with robo-signing mortgage assignments and affidavits expressly legally impossible transfers into specific trusts long after the trusts were closed for funding? Ha <laughs> ha! That's why they asked for when was it funded. I just asked them the same thing in my letter. Okay? All from this information right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you go after them. You want to stop your foreclosure? You want to go back after them for the foreclosure? Go back after them for the remit. Go back after them for the trust. Go back after them for the registration of your particular assets into the trust. Just make the claim that it was not proper, was not done in accord with the dictates of the agreement. Okay? That's the best I can do for you. Now, what I'm about to do right here is we're about to convert. Oh, you're about to convert? You're about to become what? A booty man? This, 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 this. What you gonna become? Your mama. You can't become my mama. You can't convert to her. 
Mm -mm, can't convert to my mama. My mama don't like that. So you're going to have to go find Medea or somebody because you can't convert to my mama. Would you shut up? Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, got to let you go. I just, what I just did right now, let's open it up. Let's open it up. This is me trying to take that document from online and copy and paste. And as you see, it didn't do a good job. So right now, here is what I need. Now see this. Uh oh, it actually did the man. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, it gave me the words. Look at there. Looky there. Looky there. Looky there. Oh, and the draft. Now, let me show you. Oh, no, it did. Oh, no, it did. It did. All right. See, it still lets me do the words, but there is something here. There's a box here. But let me show you guys how to get rid of draft. Watch this. Uh, where's my insert? Insert and we got watermark. Where you at watermark? Watermark? Where watermark? Where's my watermark button? Y'all see my watermark button? Anybody see where my watermark button went? I don't see my watermark button. I think we got design. I think that's where my watermark button gonna be. There it is. It's under design, y'all. So if you're looking for the watermark button, it's under design. See, when they do stupid stuff like drafts right here. That's okay. That right there is a watermark. That's how they put that there. So what you do is you open up watermark whenever mine decides it's going to open up and you just remove it. And then you don't have no more watermark and you can play with it. Okay? So remove watermark. See right there? Remove watermark. Let's see if it's going to do it. If not, I'm going to have to do it myself. Okay? It didn't do it. So I'm going to have to do it myself. Let's do that one more again. Yeah, let's do custom. We do custom. And we're going to do text. And we're going to do, yeah, let's do ASAP. Okay. And it's going to put ASAP. You see how I put ASAP right in the middle? That's how they add the watermark. But see, when I add ASAP, it puts it on every other page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove watermark and see if it removes the other one. If not, I'm just going to have to copy the text and move it on. Move it on, move it on, move it on. Come on now, give me the page. I can't see the page. It's still got drafts, so I'm going to have to do it my way. He did it his way. So... I'll just have to copy all of the text, which is not going to be hard. Watch. Then we're going to go on to another. Uh, well, we're going to end this video and let you guys go on to your lives. So, well, look at that. You see draft? Draft is not a watermark. It's actually a picture. So that's what the box was showing up for. Okay, that's what the box, that's how we're going to get rid of draft because draft is a box. It beats with age. Miller draft. It beats what age. Excuse me? It beats what age. Is it a hip hop artist? It beats what age. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just going to copy the text, but now that I see, stop that. I'm looking for file. Oh, not looking for that. Sorry. I'm looking for home. Okay. And then I'm looking to cut. Okay. So that's how I'll get rid of draft because I don't, I just want the text. So I can copy all of this without copying the draft. Hold on. See, I copy that. And then when I need to copy this, I just copy everything in this box because it put everything in a box. It just put it in a box, mama. Okay. Now let's undo that. Uh -uh. Let's undo, 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 undo. Okay. Now we go back here and I'll take care of that later. But for now, Ladies and gentlemen, now you know that this case was won. Now you see how it was won. How the West was won? Yes, exactly. So what you do is you take that case. Those of you who are interested in getting rid of your mortgage, you go back and you watch that hour long video I did earlier. I'm going to show it to you because you need it because this is the beneficial part. It makes no sense in me talking about it over again because I talked about it in the case. Uh, got to go here. Open, 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 open. Macy's open, open, open.
Open, open, open. See, I'm, I got to restart this computer because I'm doing just way too much. Ladies and gentlemen, facing foreclosure, look at this case and monkey see, monkey do. Do what the attorney did. Copy the document. Where can I get that document? I want a copy of the document. The same copy that you have of the document. I don't want to go to one of them sites where I'm going to have to pay for it. Okay. I Okay, okay, okay. I want to make sure you guys get the same document I got. Okay. I want to make sure you get the same document I got. All right. We didn't go here. I don't believe we went here. This is the circuit court. The case is remanded. We didn't do the remanded case. We did this one. Okay, because, well, no, we didn't go to the .gov. Okay, did we go to just the, uh, no, we went to this one. We went to the PDF, sorry, PDF. So let me tell you what you're going to do so that you guys find the same case. I forgot that I was looking specifically for the PDF. Let me get my screen to, we just put in Horace versus LaSalle Bank National Association et al, et cetera, all. That's what et al means, people. Circuit Court, Russell County. Now watch this, watch this, watch this, because we're not going, we've got about another minute to go before this video ends, so y'all just pay attention. P-D-F, enter. TikTok, 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 TikTok. See, this is script. You don't want script, 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 script. You, you want not that one, because that ain't going to do you no good. Okay, you don't want Justia, because Justia is only going to show you the remand. That's going to be the higher court, the federal court. You don't want the federal court one. So if you look in there, in the catch, and it says remanded, you don't want the remanded. You want the one that actually happened in the county court, which is going to take you to the 08-1019 one. Okay? Uh-oh. We got the opinion and order. Okay. The opinion and order was in a different document. Oh, God. I think it's going to take us back to that same one. No, that's this one right here. That's Mario Kenny files. Okay. That's the other one where they want you to sign up. This one is going to give me the opinion and order, and let's see if it has that junk in it. But this is how you're going to find the document, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Look, this is the opinion and order. But I think... Yeah, this is the district court. We don't want this one. This is the remand. And specifically, we're looking for the one from the county. But you want to know what? Um, not because they didn't really say anything. They just spoke about the reasons for the case being remanded and there being no diversity of citizens and there being no uh, there being no amount that there was no uh, amount over seventy five thousand dollars. So which did not allow them to remove it to the next court. So that's why they're in subject matter want of jurisdiction. That's why they had to remand it back because they didn't have any jurisdiction. The parties did not agree. The parties would have to agree to the remand in order for it to have remained there. So ladies and gentlemen, it's not the district court one. It's not the electronic filing by the Mario Kinney that we need. It's the one that has the actual county records, okay? There it is right there. Finally, finally, it has happened to me right in front of my face. And I just, this is the one you need. Okay, that's one. Then you have Justia. That's two. But we don't need that one because, again, that's the remand. Then you have this one. This is the one where we need the that number right there. Right? I like the way they do the right there. Okay, but we're going to go here. Because this is stop foreclosure fraud. Okay. Now go ahead and listen to all the people talking about this. And notice how nobody ever told you to copy what the attorney did. And to bring up the same issues in your case. And just associate it with your state case laws. Okay. You see how it didn't let me. It says site can't be reached. So you guys will be able to reach it. I just won't be able to reach it. But that's how you're going to download the case. Okay. Have a good day. Have a good life. Have a good night. Less than 30 minutes. Good.